Focal therapy is like the lumpectomy for breast cancer. We're now with imaging and biopsy technology, we can find where in the prostate the aggressive cancer exists. And so what we're gonna do is simply destroy that region of the gland without uh, removing or destroying the entire gland, thereby dramatically decreasing quality of life complications. Once we've confirmed that the direct region that we've identified on MRI has clinically significant prostate cancer, that location could then become a treatment zone. This allows us to treat a cancer in an abnormal portion of the prostate tissue while preserving the normal prostate tissue that may not have cancer. The MRI uh, that we use is what's called a multi-parametric MRI. It just doesn't look at the anatomy, it looks functionally at different attributes of the prostate. And collectively, all those signals put together help us to raise a degree of suspicion about the possibility of cancer within the prostate. This is really a treatment that's just for men who have early stage disease limited to one part of the prostate, visible on an MRI and confirmed on a biopsy. So the ideal candidate for focal therapy is the gentleman who has a single suspicious area that we biopsy and we find that it is a potentially lethal cancer. And then it's gonna be a patient who puts a high priority uh, for quality of life, which is primarily uh, a minimal impact on sexual function, who's then willing to commit to a surveillance regimen uh, so that uh, we can be assured that we haven't compromised cancer control.